In this video, you will learn how to use an adjustable micropipette. Micropipettes are one of the most commonly used tools in a molecular biology laboratory. An adjustable micropipette is used to measure and transfer small volumes of liquid. The parts of a micropipette include the plunger button used to fill and dispense samples, the tip ejector button used to remove used tips, the volume adjustment knob used to adjust the volume you wish to transfer, the digital display window displays the volume being selected, the shaft, and the ejector arm which ejects used tips, and a disposable pipette tip. The volume range for a micropipette can be found on the top of the plunger button. The most commonly used ranges for micropipettes include the 0.5 to 10 microliter, the 2 to 20 microliter, the 20 to 200 microliter, and the 100 to 1000 microliter. In each case, the two numbers indicate the range between which the pipette can measure with accuracy. The first step in using a micropipette is to make certain you are using the correct size and type of tip for the samples you will be transferring. Tips for general pipetting come in three standard sizes. The 0.5 to 10 microliter shown here. The tips shown here fit either a 2 to 20 microliter or a 20 to 200 microliter pipette. Tips that fit 100 to 1000 microliter pipettes. Specialized tips are made for a variety of purposes, such as aerosol barrier tips with a sterile filter to prevent contamination. Protein gel loading pipette tips that are designed with a narrow tip to slide easily between many vertical acrylamide gel plates. Prior to putting on a tip, you should first set your pipette to the desired volume. To set the volume, simply turn the volume adjustment knob until the desired volume appears in the digital display window. The volume is read from top to bottom. In the case of this 2 to 20 microliter pipette, the bottom digit in red indicates tenths of a microliter. Here we have displayed the correct setting for obtaining 6 microliters of sample. After the correct volume has been set, place a disposable tip onto the pipette. It is important to apply gentle but firm pressure so that a good airtight seal is made between the pipette and the tip. To hold the marked pipette, wrap your fingers around the pipette with your thumb on the plunger button. The plunger has two stops. Press slowly to the first or soft stop. The soft stop is the calibrated measurement. If you continue pressing from there, you will reach a second or hard stop. The hard stop is only used to aid in dispensing liquid completely out of the tip by providing a little burst of air. To obtain a sample, press the plunger button to the first stop and hold it there as you place the pipette tip into the tube holding your sample. Placing the tip near the bottom of the tube, withdraw the sample by slowly releasing the plunger button. To complete the transfer of a sample, place the micropipette tip into a fresh microtube. Slowly depress the plunger button, pausing at the first stop. Then continue depressing until the second stop. Now while holding the plunger button down, remove the micropipette tip from the microtube. Once out of the microtube, you can release the plunger button.